Hey, this is Devin with Stessa, and uh, usually I send out a monthly email with uh, some discussion about new features and links to get into them and try them out. Uh, going to try video this month, so if this works for everyone, if this helps you get a sense for how things work and get more out of Stessa, then uh, I'm happy to keep doing this on a monthly basis. Um, today I want to share two great new features. One is a trash can, which makes transactions a lot easier to manage and recover. From mistakes and then also want to share some information about our new purchase sale and refinance section in the reporting and uh, ways you can take advantage of that to see your entire investment uh, from acquisition through cash flow uh, your entire ownership period and then an eventual uh, and hopefully profitable sale uh, only other thing i want to mention is that uh, we were acquired by roofstock a couple months ago uh, we've sent out some information on that, and we're really having a lot of fun working with our new colleagues and cooking up some great new tools to help you manage the entire uh, real estate investment life cycle uh, from start to finish, buying, selling, and everything in between. So stay tuned for more information on that in the weeks and months to come. Okay, let's jump right in and check out the new trash can feature. This is something we've wanted to build for quite a while. It's now ready and available to you. So just click on your transactions here. And right at the top, all transactions, needs review, and then here is the trash tab. So the trash tab keeps track of everything you've deleted in the last 30 days. So if you deleted it 31 days ago, regardless of what the actual date of the transaction is, it'll disappear and be gone forever. So you've now got a 30 day grace period after deleting anything, uh, either one off or because you changed or deleted a bank connection and deleted a bunch of transactions at once. Either way, you can come in here and you can recover those by simply hitting this little blue button right here on the right. Once you do that, boom, it'll end up back in your all transactions tab and you can do what you wish with it. If you need to restore a bunch of transactions at once, just click them here on the left and then use this handy restore button up here on the right. So, you know, everybody makes mistakes every once in a while. Uh, this is a really easy way to recover and get yourself back on track. Next, let's take a look at the purchase, sale, and refinance features that we've released uh, over the last few weeks. These are great for investors that want to see the whole picture. If you take a big step back, Obviously, the price you pay, what you sell for, whether you refinance or not, those are big decisions that have a very big impact on the overall performance of your investment. And we've now made it easier than ever to track those. So in addition to inputting your acquisition price and your sale price into the financial details modals in Stessa, you can now also track those transactions on the transactions page. For example, I've imagined that we sold our demo property, 123 Easy Street, last week. So if you click here, this will take you into the edit modal. You can see 123 Easy Street sale, $700,000. And we've categorized this under transfers as sale proceeds. That's an important detail. Now, let's imagine we also paid a broker a commission to do that, 5%. Here it is, $35,000 sale commission, and this one we've categorized as closing costs under capital expenses. Okay, similarly, back in uh, 2018, when we purchased this property, we inputted the purchase as a transaction as well. So here it is, $590,000. 123 Easy Street. This one categorizes capital expenses, new acquisitions. On that same date, we also uh, took care of some of the closing costs here. So here's title, title insurance, lender's title insurance. Uh, here's a loan cost on the financing that we took out to purchase this property. And then here is the uh, proceeds of $500,000 that we received from Boulder's Bank at that time. Now, if we clear this, you can see we've also booked a loan uh, payoff here of $470,983. That's the current balance. So once all those uh, key details are in, 
You can now pop over here to reports and your net cash flow report, assuming you run the proper time period. So let's make this 3-1-2018 through 430 2021 That should do it. So we're looking at a little more than three years of cash flow here. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see under purchase, sale, and refinance category here at the bottom, a bunch of new line items, new acquisitions, proceeds and payoffs, closing costs, sale proceeds, and loan costs. So this now gives you full transparency over the big ticket items uh, that have a very large impact on your cash flow. If we scroll over here to last month, you can also see here's the loan payoff of the existing balance. Here's the commission that we paid the broker, and then here's the $700,000 in sale proceeds. The difference is what you're putting in your pocket, about $197,000 there. So this is important because this net cash flow net line can now be uh, exported as part of this report to Excel up here with this button. And for those of you that are skilled with Excel, you can now run in uh, an easy and quick XIRR calculation on this net cash flow line from day one through to your sale using this set of months up at the top. And that will give you uh, an IRR number, which is kind of the gold standard for measuring how your investment did. That's it for today. Of course, those aren't the only new features we've released recently. Uh, you'll find plenty more tweaks and improvements uh, sprinkled around the product. So um, we'll see you next month.